Hello and welcome. My name is Miranda Johnson and I'm the Hatched Curatorial Fellow here at Pika. I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting today on Wajak Noongar land and pay my respects to Elders past and present. Hatched National Graduate Show 2022 features the work of 25 exciting emerging artists who have recently graduated from art school across Australia. I hope you enjoy seeing their work and hearing some of them speak about their practices today. My name is Jackie Meng. I'm a recent graduate from the ANU School of Art in Canberra on Ngunnawal, Ngambri land. My practice is about trying to find ways to represent experiences of diaspora beyond national and geographic specificities. So that includes combining East and West, human and non-human and real and imagined in spaces that are quite discoordinated and disoriented to try and create a more nuanced understanding of identity and what that can look like. The paintings that I uh, worked on for Hatched um, are kind of like self-portraits, I guess. Um, they depict um, scenes with lots of different objects and um, references to historical paintings and spiritual practices and imagery from folklore with kind of more contemporary internet and pop culture references to try and create compositions that yeah were more complex in reflecting like what cultural identity can look like and I also made a sound work that incorporated um, you know sounds of water humming um, me whispering a children's folklore poem called An Ode to the Goose and effects that relate to the imagery in my paintings um, in a way that um, kind of mimicked a spiritual kind of incantation. I think my motivation for, for the painting compositions was trying to create spaces that were like both grounded in like my real personal experience and um, in real places and with places that were more fictional and I think that in combining that I'm like creating a more nuanced understanding of what identity can look like and how it's formed. I'm Susie Althor from Adelaide, which is Ghana country in South Australia. I've just graduated from honours at Flinders University. My practice involves sculpture, but primarily ceramic, and I've recently moved into the installation work and started to incorporate light as a material as well. My work in MERS is like a passive type of environmentalism, um, which uses clay sculpture in an installation to try and reconnect the viewer with nature. This work in this um, is a combination of uh, my passion of the ocean and also that sublime experience of being in nature. I relate that to the beach most of all and um, that sort of made me think about submersing the sublime to the underwater and thinking about kelp forests and that is the landscape. Yeah, I've always been interested in science alongside art. I think it's just my natural curiosity for things and wanting to dig deeper and look closer. I guess it's um, almost passing on some knowledge um, in a different form. You know, like science can provide facts and some imagery, but um, an artist can provide another type of communication, whether it's um, a texture or a form that sort of gives a bit more information. I wanted this to be an immersive experience um, for the viewers, them interacting in the space. Um, firstly, with the effect of the light and that being bathed in that yellow light. And secondly, with their actual movement in amongst the kelp, you get airflow that then makes the blades of kelp move slightly. So it's about thinking about yourself in that space and having an impact. My name's Emma Bingham. I'm from Nipaluna Hobart, which is to the south of Lutruwita, Tasmania. And I just graduated from the University of Tasmania. My work for Hatched consists of a, a darkened space, a void. And I consider a void not to be something that is empty, but something that is full, like a pregnant space, a space of potential, a space of becoming. 
So within that space there's a, a, a large fabric work. The folds and involutions of that work compress that fabric into a smaller space and the folds turn the internal into the external and the external into the internal. The other sculptural component is a large paper form. It's like a huddled human form. It's crumpled paper and that was made through a, a process of using my whole body engaged with that material. The small um, objects, the encounters objects, they're made of paper dipped in wax. The warmth of my hand makes that take on the gesture and as it cools, those gestures are, are held. I have been interested for a long time in the body and its relation to other. Um, I'm interested in how the surface of the body is almost a double surface that you experience from the outside but also from the inside. This project has evolved out of a practice of printmaking and drawing rather than applying something to the surface of the paper. I'm interested in how paper can absorb and can be moulded and manipulated to become even more bodily. The watercolours are um, the shadow encounters, so they're a direct response to almost a memory of those encounters. My hope is that people get a sense of the traces that they hold on their body. Every single body knows what it is to be held within the body of another and um, those holding encounters continue for us for the rest of our lives. Thank you to Susie, Emma and Jackie for sharing your practices with us today and congratulations to all of the 25 Hatched Artists for 2022. Hatched is on at Pika until Sunday the 17th of July, so we hope that you're able to come and see the exhibition in person. Thanks for watching.